Hi, my name's Colin Walls, and today I want to talk about assembly language programming in embedded systems. My background was as an assembly language programmer, so I often think it is the best way to program, even though perhaps it's a little bit less productive. But the interesting question is, is that always the case? Is it always the way to write the most efficient, most effective code? Well, the answer, it turns out, is not always. Of course, most code nowadays is written in C and C++, and I would suggest that sometimes that's really the best way of writing the code. Let's look at a, an example. Now here's a switch statement, common structure in a C program. And in this case, the switch statement has contiguous case values. Each value follows on from the previous one. So now what the compiler can do is generate a simple jump table. It can use the case value to index off of that table to find the address to go to. Very, very simple code and very efficient. What about the situation where the case values are not quite contiguous? Well, in this situation, we do the same thing. We would generate a simple jump table, but with dummy entries for the case values that aren't there in the sequence. That's pretty efficient if there are not too many case values missing. Of course, the worst case scenario, if you like, is when the case values are all over the map, if everything's completely random, in which case some kind of lookup table is probably best, or maybe a simple structure of if then else is. Exactly how it's done in a given case can vary from one situation to another if you want to make the most efficient code. So of course, an assembly language programmer would always write the most efficient code, won't they? Well, no, actually they won't. A good programmer will write maintainable code. They will endeavor to make the code as efficient and as clean as possible, but maintainability is everything. So in other words, they won't write code which will work well for contiguous case values, just in case the code has to be modified for a non-contiguous sequence. So they're more likely to write the lookup table as in that last example. They don't want to start writing the code over just because a small, a small change is required of them. Of course, the compiler doesn't mind. The compiler will rewrite the code every time you run it through it. So in this particular case, I think the compiler wins. A compiler will always generate better code than assembly language programmer would do. Next time, maybe us assembly language programmers will, will win out, but this time the compiler wins. So I hope that's uh, proved useful to you as some guidance as to how to code in future. So until next time, cheers for now. Thank you.